Whoops. Welcome one and all to Scotch and Smoke Rings, episode 512. I am your friendly neighborhood all, uh, Oxhorn. Here, as always, with suspenders set to maximum st uh, stun. Got a great show for you today. Um, I know I've said this all already, but you didn't hear it, so I'm saying it again. Sorry about that, everybody. Got a great show for you today. I'm going to be doing something a little bit unusual during the Q&A portion of the program. I'm going to be playing some Fallout 76 and taking some uh, photographs, some screenshots in the game. And the reason for this is because, uh, you know, they use the photographs that you can take in Fallout 76 as the loading slides. Well, uh, during my live stream a few days ago, good, I'm glad you all can hear me. <laughs> I, I had it. I was recording footage early. I've had a busy day. I spent four hours recording footage for Fallout 2 for one location. I'm trying to get my footage together for a video on Redding, and it's a fun location, lots of interesting stuff, but man, four hours of just... It's the mine. It's the Winnebago mine, whatever it's called, the one infested with aliens. Holy cow. Uh, I'm level 12. My character's level 12. You need to be level 10 to get the quest, and even then, it was still complicated, so four hours of shooting footage for... For that, so yeah, I gotta have to process. I'm gonna have to process all of that footage. Uh, work my way through it in order to make the episode. How you doing? Says God Emperor. I'm doing really good. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to scotch and cigars and talking with everybody on the channel today. Um, anyway, so what I was saying is, um, anyway, what what I what, what what I was in the middle of doing is I was in the middle of going through and uh, uh, filtering out all of my photographs, taking out the bad ones because. Uh, Due to the tadpole and possum challenges, you know, you got to take a lot of combat photos. So I've got some bad ones in there. I filtered those out. And while I'm at it, I figure, well, I might as well uh, go and take some funny photographs. And I have all of these costumes that I've been saving. And no way to show them off in my settlement or in my camp. So I might as well take some photographs. Raiden says, we can't hear you. Well, I think you can hear me now. So I think I've got that fixed. Cole says, hey, Oxhorn, my mama, my mama really likes your book. And I'm going to start reading it tonight. Well, thank you. I hope you enjoyed the, my book. I wrote it a long time ago, but um, I had a fun, a fun time writing that novel a long, long time ago. Um, so the plan is still to do some Doom later. So we're going to have an hour Q&A. We'll be playing some Fallout 76. And then after that, we'll dive right into Doom. So the plan uh, for the rest of this week is, remember, I've got a live stream tomorrow at 10 o'clock a.m. Pacific time. We'll be doing some Rage 2 tomorrow. I'm looking forward to getting back into Rage 2. Then on Saturday, I've got a Fallout 76 video for you. We're going to be going into the Rusty Pick and learning everything there is to know about the Rusty Pick and how the protests started in the ash heap of App Appalachia. Then for Sunday, I don't know what I'm going to do for Sunday. To be perfectly honest, I'm going to try and get this Fallout 2 video done. But like I said, four hours of footage, that's going to equate to like eight hours of... I have a lot of work ahead of myself. But uh, lots of great stuff. I am working on Broken Steel. So um, I'm getting the theme song composed. I'm already all, uh, almost done with capturing all of the footage for Broken Steel. And I'm working on getting the theme song composed for the intro, uh, which is going to be a lot of fun. I've heard a few drafts of it so far, and it sounds great. So I'm, look I'm looking forward to it. Love your video, Zox! Says Texas Cowboy 68. Thank you, Texas Cowboy. Braden Swindale says, how do I join your squad? You're part of the squad, my friend. You're here in the chat. That's there's no more there's no more to being part of the Oxhorn squad than just being here in the chat. Hi dad, says Gregory Brown. Okay, fine. Yeah, I'll I'll be your, your fallout dad. How about that? I'm dead Oxhorn. <laughs> Uh, Irvin says, did you get an in, an invite from CD Projekt Rec for um, E3, or are you going? No, I didn't, and uh, no, I'm not going. I got an invite for, um, well, a, a, a different convention, and um, I turned it down because, first of all, I, I don't like a whole lot of travel, and secondly, it was uh, during my kid's birthday. And I, and I wanted to be here for the kid's birthday. So I'm going to be staying home for E3. Maybe we'll cover some of the big announcements like I did last year on the live stream. Plus, you have an easier time covering it on your channel if you're not there. Like, if I was there, I wouldn't be able to be on YouTube talking with everybody. Welcome, new member, Jessica Sharp. Good to have you. A longtime viewer. Good to have you as a member. Welcome, new member, Fly Ranger 9000. So last year uh, for E3, we had a great time 
during the Bethesda keynote speech where they did the big reveal about Fallout 76, um, I just rebroadcast their live broadcast and we did some live commentary and we had a great time. And I might do something like that for E3 this year. Uh, if I were there in person, then I'd have to you know, get a, a camera hooked up to Twitch or something and it would be dark and lots of noise and I'd be distracted by the crowd. It would just be messy. So I don't know. Maybe someday I'll go to E3 and cover it on the channel, but not, not right now. Nathan Brown with a tip. Thank you, Nathan. Dale Schultzman with a tip. Thank you, Dale. William says, Oxhorn, first, I've loved every vid. Second, it's 3.05 in England, and I've been drinking Oban 12 year. Please use this, this to help towards buying a bottle. You'll love it. Oban 12 year. Well, that sounds delicious. I'll look it up. Sir Reginald Bob Slayer says, I heard tips are mandatory, so here you go. They're not mandatory, but they're always welcome. Thank you very much for the tip. Devin says, how old is little ox turning? Well, um... It's actually both my kids' birthdays. So, um, my... Here, let's switch on over to the game so that we can chat while I'm, while I'm in the game. My son was born on the 8th, and my daughter was born on the 7th. Uh, two years apart, but one day apart. So, we do big birthdays. Uh, what are your Fallout books in your library, says Dior. My Fallout books in my library are uh, just the strategy guides, the various strategy guides. Um, sometimes it's like the art of Fallout 4. I have that book in my library. Uh, Brian says, Ox, all of the Dishonored DLC has no chaos system. That's great. I'm looking forward to playing a Dishonored game without the chaos system. Uh, Jessica says, I'm having issues watching your previous live streams on YouTube. Every time I try to load them, it plays an ad, then loads a different video. I tried my Roku, and it's the same thing. Uh, well, I'm uh, sad to, to hear that, Jessica, but I think you're the only one experiencing that problem. This is the first I've heard of it. I haven't gotten that complaint from anyone else, and uh, I've, I sometimes check my videos on various different platforms, whether it's a TV or or a smartphone, and, and it seems to load just fine. I know there's only one live stream broadcast I did that isn't showing up, and it's day one of my Fallout 76 broadcast from months ago. Uh, so that, watching that video is um, YouTube's fault, because they broke it. But everything else should lo cor load correctly. Uh, Justin says, Oxhorn, could you please say hi to my daughter, Holly? Hello, Holly. You and Justin are welcome on the program today. The Dark Seraph says, Crown Royal is overrated. Jack is superior. Crown Royal, um, I, you know, I'm not a terrible big fan of Crown Royal. Uh, but I'm also not terribly that big of a fan of Jack either. They're all all right. They're, they're all right. I can't complain. All right, so the next, uh, the next screenshot I want to take is either at a police station or at the Sheep Squatch place. Let's see. I think I'm closer to the Sheep Squatch cabin. Oxford, I'll try and meet you in 76. Want to hang, says Dude in Mask Chad. Well, you're more than welcome. Yeah, let's go to the pylon ambush site for this particular screenshot. P-Town says, we need the Mass Fusion lore vid put into the Fallout 4 playlist. Thanks in advance. Is it not in the playlist? Oh, no. I'll have to check it out. Thank you for the heads up. I'll try and fix that. All right, I'll show you the screenshots uh, that I've got so far. So I cleaned up a bit. Uh, now I've got um, a much smaller, I think I had like 700, and now I think I've only got 100 or so. And these are the ones I took recently. I just took this one uh, before the program. Had to, had to get that casual outfit and the fashionable glasses on. Went to White Spring for that one. Then I, got the, uh, I went to the, uh, the White Spring bunker for the Enclave photo. Looking good. He's pulling the uh, the blue steel, the Zoolander look right there. Ooh, you know, like, ooh, it's the blue steel. <clears throat> then I went to Camden Park for this one, and uh, <laughs> I chose the bored look. Like, he was just, here I am at Camden Park. This is my summer job between, uh, between classes. I'm scooping ice cream. Uh, he's in his Camden Park uh, outfit and the faded visor scooping ice cream. Uh, I, I just, I, I saw that, I liked it. And then I did two Nuka Cola ones. Uh, this guy's in awe. He's in his Nuka World outfit. And then this is the uh, Cappy outfit. 
Uh, he's, he's like a Nuka-Cola tourist, right? And then here's the Arctos Pharma lab coat. I went to the Arctos Pharma lab to take this one. I, I should have put some glasses on, some um, black rim glasses, but I, I forgot, so I didn't. And then that's it. These are these are just many of the other screenshots that I've got. Okay, um, now, now that we're here, uh, Jessica says, also, I missed scotch and smoke rings last week because I started a new job, so soon I'll be able to tip you. Also, big happy birthday th to the mini ox horns. Well, thank you very much, and uh, congrats on the new job. That's awesome news. Uh-oh, looks like we've got a glowing one over here. Your new Coca-Colas look cool on the shelf behind you, says Mario. Thank you very much, Mario. Man, I am just wailing on those knees, and nothing is happening. Man, you should have gotten crippled long ago. Once I finish the collection, I'll be sure to show off everything behind me uh, in, a, in a separate dedicated video. But it's not ready yet. I'm still working on getting a few more props. Oh man, I don't know if the Sea Sheep Squatch video uh, shot is gonna look. Here we go. This is this is gonna be good. Binary Ghost says hello. Glad there's another mod here. Got to get my drink for the show. Yes, I'm so glad you and Brian are here modding the chat today. Thank you so much. I finally got the Imposter Sheep Squatch helmet. Then I think I can put on the mascot outfit. And then there, yeah, I've got the full sheep squatch regalia. Let's take off that uh, fashionable glasses. That's not really good for it. Man, it's really dark. It's the middle of the night. What time is it? It's one, two in the morning. Well, maybe that red glow will help. Maybe it'll be cool. Mythic says, Hey Ox, wishing a happy birthday to the youngins, and how come you're doing some Fallout 76 during the Q&A tonight? No complaints, just curious. Well, I was in the middle of this project, and I was having so much fun doing it, I figured I'd bring you along with me. Um, that's all. No real reason. Uh, I need to get this pylon is a big part of the sheep squanch event. So let me get Make it a scary picture with the red glow. We'll we'll do. Uh, maybe I'll pull a really scary face. So first let's turn off depth of field. Let's bring that field of view down. Let's take a look at some of the different expressions I can do here. Afraid. Oh man, it's really dark. Let me try a filter. Ian Otter says, Hi Ox, love the streams, but have a request for rage. Please learn to dodge incoming shots, especially from bosses. Arug cries as you die again. All right, I will do my uh, my best to learn how to dodge. It's just too dark. I'm going to change servers. Let's change servers and see if we can log into one that's at a completely different time of day. Because it's just too dark for the photograph. Jareth says you can change the time of day in the camera, can you? Am I, am I just now learning that? Really, you can change the time of day in the camera? Wow. That'll be embarrassing if I didn't know that. Did you fix the F FPS issues, Oxhorn asks Joseph. I did indeed. I uh, spent an entire live stream 
deleting absolutely everyone on my friends list to fix the FPS. Hey, there it is. It worked. Yay, it's a loading slide. To fix the FPS issues, and it did work. I now get a buttery smooth 60 FPS. I'm so happy. I'm enjoying the game so much more now that I don't freeze while jumping. <laughs> it, it was so bad, the FPS issue. And the fact that it's tied to how many friends you have is just insane. It's one of those problems that most people will never have to suffer with because you're not a YouTuber and you don't have like thousands of people sending you invites and it takes that many for the problem to happen. But still, the fact that it's a problem is a problem. All right. Okay, this is better, much better. Uh oh, am I gonna get attacked? Maybe. Ooh. It's a hard shadow. There we go. Ooh, that's also a hard shadow. Oh, uh, do I need to worry about those ghouls? That's a little better, but still. Well, let's see if I can change. Let's see if I can change time of day. Actually, you know what? Maybe the ghouls in the background would be good for this shot. But then that really messes it up because the sun is coming from the opposite direction. Okay, can I change time of day? Brightness, saturation, contrast. Ah, oh, I don't see an option to change time of day, friends. Depth of field. Field of view, of view roll, player, brightness, saturation, contrast, filter, frame. There's no way to change time of day. So I need to, I need to move this character around a bit. Yeah, it's a little bit. Trucky Steve's Adventures with a tip. Thank you very much, Trucky Steve. All right, let's turn off that horrible depth of field. Let's bring in that field of view. Oh, yeah. That's, we're, we're looking like a sheep squatch now. Look at those feet. Oh, those are great feet. All right, let's find a pose. What kind of pose do we want? Thumbs up? No. The problem with the, the basic poses is there's, what, three or four? I'll probably just stand here. Let's uh, focus on that expression. <laughs> that happy face. Puzzled rage. Oh, yeah, that's an angry sheep squatch. Ooh, he's angry. All right, now the big question is, do we go all in for the full body or do we do a close-up there? Let's drag that field of view in, yeah. That's an angry sheep squatch. Use brightness to change the light, says uh, uh, Sadie Jane. Uh, that's not going to work very well. I'll show you what happens if you use brightness for that. It blows it out. You're gonna, you can crush that down. So the, the problem is the shadows, right? Like uh, the shadow is covered, covering the face. And even brightness on max doesn't really change the shadow much. Yeah, I think I got a good one. Yeah, he's an angry sheep squatch. 
That one dude says, yo, Ox, what are you doing? I thought it's Q&A time. It is Q&A time. I am looking at your comments with feverish abandon. William Honeywell says, Oxhorn is just the boss. Again, just boosting your pay towards a bottle of Oban, but it's pronounced Uban. Uban. It's the best bottle out of Scotland. Not sure how common it is in the USA being British. Uban. All right, I'll have to uh, take a look at some Uban. All right, what's the next one that I'm doing? Uh, I could do Pioneer. Fast knocked, but I think that's north of me. Voltec University. Oh yeah, I think I want to go to a slum too. So let's put on the wrapped cap and the tattered rags. When to go? I don't think so. All right, let's uh, let's find a a horribly burnt town. Well, should be good for that. Also, I think uh, Beckley is good for that. Let's try Beckley. Uh oh, I hear footsteps. Karma bomb. Good to have you on the program, Karma bomb. I'm going to Beckley now for the next shot. Crazy Zhao says, please stream more Fallout 4 or 76. Well, I, I stream 76 quite a lot. I streamed it a lot uh, last week, or this week, with all of the new content. Fallout 76 Cosplay Edition, says Brett Buss. <laughs> I'm cosplaying as a sheep squatch. Air 404 says, heads up, here's a dad joke special for you, Ox. My uh, friend died when she saw a wild ox wearing a knitted jumper. It was a cardiac arrest. Painful. I'm out of scotch. We'll soothe the pain with rum. Mm. Andrew Turner says, Some friends and I are at Thunder Mountain Plant. From the boat in the lake, we can see a huge cloud that looks like smoke far off to the, on the eastern side of the map. Could it be the Capital Wasteland? Well, there's Thunder Mountain. And yeah, Capital Wasteland would be down here in this area. Uh, still pretty far away, though. I mean, West Virginia, it's, it's not just a hop, skip, and a jump away from... Uh, from the Capital Wasteland. Maybe. Maybe. All right, so I want to find like a dirty bed. I want to see if I can lay this guy down. See if I can find like a mattress on the ground. I'm going to pretend like he's... Um... Oh, look at that. Wow, a hazmat suit in the back of the... In the back of the truck. That's a, a, a nice early game find. The Dark Seraph says, I have no shame in starting the dad joke trend. Well, you, my friend, do get credit for that. Big Cheese says hi. Hi there, Big Cheese. Mm. 
Maybe Lewisburg would have, would have been a better choice. I'm trying to find a mattress lying in the streets. That's what I really want here. Executive staff have been removed from protected list. Oh, come on. Hello, Ox, big fan of yours. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Scott. Uh, Jesse says, why is this town full of uh, robots? Uh, these robots are strike breakers. And uh, this is a mining town. So the robots were deployed to kind of break up all of the miners who had been striking and protesting. But they're still here 25 years later. Air 44 says, how dare you not laugh? That's it, I'm unsubscribing. Lol, just kidding, Oxhorn. Here's a tip, it's a peace offering. Love what you do, keep it up, much love. <laughs> That's the, <laughs> the point of a bad dad joke is to not laugh at it. You don't, you don't humor the person who does the bad dad joke and go, ah, ha, 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 Wow, how hard is it to find a mattress laying in the street? I feel like I'm doing one of those challenges that are just obnoxious and hard to, hard to achieve. Maybe a rooftop? A rooftop mattress. I'll probably have better luck finding a mattress on the rooftop. Those scorched sounds so pathetic. Well, there's a bed, but it's that would be a horrible screenshot. It's tucked in this nice little shack. The Dark Seraph says, what starts with a P and ends in orange? Popcorn, you perverts. Thank you, the Dark Seraph. Oh, man. And I, I was gonna I was gonna be really proud of that too. I was gonna play it up. All right, maybe we can f f look for a mattress just lying around here. Now maybe I should go to Lewisburg. Well, what other costumes did I have? I've got um, the Pioneer stuff. I could go to uh, the, the scout area. A prison, a ranger station. Avakin says, my boyfriend and I bonded over our love of your channel. We asked about interests and your channel came up. I owe you one ox. Ha <laughs> ha, cheers. That's great, Avakin. I love hearing comments like that. Thank you. <clears throat> there he is. Hey, ox, any word on when we'll uh, see some broken steel content? Yeah, I talked about that at the beginning of the program. Hoping to do some Broken Steel soon. I'm working on the theme song right now. Uh, once that's composed, I can sit down and...
Well, and I didn't even mean to, but I completed like a miscellaneous quest. Okay. Now I could claim the workshop if I wanted to. Ooh, is that a mattress on the ground over here? Oh no. What's the perk in, what is the perk in 76 you wish you had in three or four? Um, huh. Well, I don't know if it's a perk that I wish I had, but marsupial is awesome. I wish marsupial was in three or four. Uh, not a perk, it's a mutation, but. William says, uh, dad joke. How do you know if a joke's a dad joke? When you feel grown up. Grown, G-R-O-A-N. Are you going to, uh, doing the high jump today, son? No, it's just cigarettes. Uh, okay. Thank you, William. Zartu says, hey, Ox, sorry I missed uh, last week. Any chance Brother Ox will be joining us? I feel bad I missed Mod Promotion Palooza. Hopefully I'll make the next one. Uh, brother Ox will be joining us? I don't, I don't know, like, my brother? I don't know when my brother will be next able to co-host program but I'm hoping he can come by sometime soon arrow 404 says can I get a shout out to my wife she's got work tonight and won't be able to finish the stream tonight uh, yeah absolutely shout out to error 404's wife good luck at work and I hope to see you again on this on the stream but this might work being sad in a public in a public park All right, let's change expressions here. It's just too sad. <laughs> That's sad. Man, my character's got some jowls, huh? Hey, Alex, what happened to your Fallout New Vegas sign? It's uh, broken. I don't know what happened to it, but I need to get it fixed. Nicholas Strong says the beard is gone. Yeah, that hat takes you to the beard, doesn't it? All right, let's go to a ranger station, and I know there's one over here, but uh, let's fast travel to camp first. That's going to be cheaper. Wade says his brother is one of our uh, fair and just mods. Oh, oh, I see. Thank you, Wade. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I appeared under... Oh, dang it. Oh, well, at least I was fast traveling. Now, there's a ranger station. I remember... Somewhere. Survey no. I remember there was a there was a there was a ranger now. Oh. East Mountain Lookout. Well, maybe that's it. Let's go to the East Mountain Lookout. That's a good place for rangers.
Jessica Sharp says, Zox, did you know that ducks grow feathers to cover up their butt quacks? Uh, uh. Nice. Whoa, creaky. Yeah, a park ranger would be up one of these things, huh? Oh, we got urine in a jar. Perfect spot for a park ranger. I hope there aren't any park rangers watching right now. <laughs> Oxhorn, we don't all pee in jars. Oh! Chris Williams says, Hey, Ox, I know you like Sabaton. Have you ever heard of a board game called Axis and Allies? I think you would like it. They are making an online version. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure about the uh, how the connection between Sabaton and Axis and Allies. Oh, because Axis and Allies is a war game, and Sabaton does war music. Okay. Yeah, no, I, uh, I do like Axis and Allies. I've played it before in the past. Is it getting dark again? That's oh, getting dark. I'm gonna have to switch servers. Ah, oh, it's too dark for a park ranger. Let's switch servers. Oh, dude in mask is here. He'll. Mask, you're so smart. Let's see, what do I want in the background as my park ranger? I should probably stand where you're standing, dude in mask. You move over there, if you don't mind, and then I'll turn my back, and then you can shine your light on me, okay? Yeah. Ooh, that's bright. A little bright. That's okay. Let's, let's, uh, Get into photo mode here. Oh, it's so nice. Turn off that horrible depth of field. Great. I'm Ranger Park, the park ranger. It's a Futurama reference. Yeah, this is a good ranger, uh, I don't know, do you need to kneel down there, dude, in mask? There we go. Now I gotta choose an expression. Amused? Is that a park ranger face? He's awed by nature. Oh, nature. Yeah, I like that. Thank you, dude in mask. Man, he's got some cool power armor, man. Have we really been doing this for 40 minutes? Man, we're gonna, we need to get to Doom here in a bit. Thank you, dude in mask. All right, I got a few more. Let's see, do I have more outfits? I think I have some more. I need to do my pioneer outfit and then I've got a police outfit. And then I, I got a prisoner outfit. I need to go to a prison. Brian says, looks like Jeff from Rooster Teeth. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I've got a straight jacket. Okay, so I could go to an insane asylum. I've got a straight jacket. Um, swimsuit. I need to go to a lake or something. Then I want to do a greaser. I want to go to like a Red Rocket truck stop. 
All right, there's a lot that I could do. Let's see. The insane asylum is pretty close, right? Fort Defiance. All right, let's go there. Let's do the insane asylum. And let's skip this daily. Nope. I will not do your daily quest. I'm going to ignore you. Deuteronomy says you could be a biker if you found a motorcycle. I've got the beard for it. Okay, now I'm trying to remember. There are a lot of great cells this way. Am I thinking wrong? Where were the cells? Oh, these are the cells. Ooh, what's that? HHBL? This might be good. Chris says, YouTube wouldn't let me type the rest that there was a question. What is your favorite time in history? Anyway, hello for, from East Texas. My favorite time in history? Ah, sorry, I'll end in a minute. Okay, I just want to cripple some limbs here, man. This guy doesn't seem to be walking very well. Dude in Mask comes to the rescue. Thank you, Dude in Mask. Stealth Boy Mark III? I got a Stealth Boy Mark III? What on earth? Holy cow. My favorite time in history? Man, uh... I like now, right? Now's a good time. Because I can play video games now. All right, let's switch into my, uh, straight jacket. Was there anything else I wanted with this particular? Prisoner caller? I don't know, does that work? A surgical mask would work better, don't you think? Oh, the, the straitjacket's a little disappointing. 
My hands aren't behind my back. I'm gonna have him sour, sorrow for fully looking outside the window. Oh, come on. There's no room for my camera here, my bite. There we go. Actually, I kind of want part of his foot on that chair because that looked cool. Flag and a question for someone else, which was a good one. What's your favorite faction and why? Mine's Brotherhood of Steel, Elder Lions, not Fallout 4, Ma uh, Maxon, says William Honeywell. Um. Oop, I need to face the window more. He's looking sorrowfully out the window. My favorite faction and why? My favorite faction is the Minutemen. All right, so I'm not going to have him stand on that chair because that's... My favorite faction is the Minutemen because... Um, I believe they have the potential to do the most good. All right, this one's just going to be sad. Well, I would have his hands behind his back if it wasn't clipping. You see that? I guess the expression doesn't matter. Let's uh, use the filter for this one. Black and white. Cool. Uh, the Minutemen, um, you know, it's only one person. It's basically... Ooh, that's, that's, a, that's a great one. Feral. It's basically Preston Garvey until you find him. Well, that one's also nice, new. Red Rocket, Sepia, Tin Type. But with you as the general, you basically have your own faction that you can com commandeer. Acid. Okay, so that's none. Let's go to Feral. Oh, I like that. All right, we <laughs> we did it. What are these blocks supposed to say? Uja. Yubhalaha. Habli. I guess they don't say anything. What about the backside? Rise. Rise? Is that supposed to be something? But with you as general of the Minutemen, you can make it anything you want. You can be either good or you can be... Man, that's a cool looking weapon. Wow. I didn't know that existed in the game. Man, dude and Mash, you've got all the cool stuff. Oh no, my my ladder is out of the shop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's great. Oh, nature. I don't know if that one works. It should really be in the forest, right? I got I got taken aback by that view. That view of Watoga is great. I should really have him in a forest. Oh, he lost his beard. He's sad. Oh, and he's an angry sheep. All right, I think I got time for a couple more before I got to do uh, Doom. The Big Cheese with a tip. Thank you very much, Big Cheese. Ethan says, is tomorrow Rage or Dishonored? Tomorrow is Rage. Rage 2. Looking forward to it. 
La Marinator says, kind of random, had this thought. What if Starfield is the, the version of Mr. House's plan to travel among the stars and alien stuff? Love your content. Thank you very much. Uh, I mean, that would be really cool. We've all wanted to see that Mr. House's vision of the future fulfilled. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Man, marsupial, come on. Yes. No. Wow, that's a cool weapon. You just took him out in one shot. Okay, so I've got, uh, I need to find a red rocket truck stop. I could go to the mega stop, but I kind of want something a little smaller than that. I could go to Helvetia. I've got all these Vosnacht masks to do. Oh, and I could go to the Morgantown police station. Ah, and then there's the swimsuit. I should go swimming. Spruce knob. Brian Dakota says, Oxhorn, how would you rank the four factions of New Vegas from best to worst? Uh, from best to worst. Fallout of the Apocalypse. Um, NCR. Yes Man. House. I mean, Yes Man is basically House. Legion. Oh, is it dusk? Oh, it's morning. Good. All right. Let's find a... Let's go to the, the docks. Let's just hope that that Myrler Queen doesn't spawn. <clears throat> William Honeywell says, If anyone me uh, meets a username, Gary108 in uh, Fallout 76, that'll be me. I run around on a spin-off account and only say Gary while hitting people with a lead pipe. What can I say? I like Vault 108. <laughs> I don't think anyone would blame you. I wish Pain Train would do more damage. Oh man, I'm suffering from glowing pustules. Ooh, I could sit in that canoe out there. Let's wait till it gets a little brighter. 4.30, uh, got a few minutes to wait. Hi, Pug. Pugga. Wow, he looks really cool in his all camo outfit.
Drink, Ox. All right. Drink. I should probably eat, too, huh? Before these go bad. Oh, my fried uh, fog crawler is going to go bad. Deuteronomus says, are you sure you want to put on that, that swimsuit? Well, it is, it is risky. How much skin do I want to show? Oh my. We could go canoeing. <laughs> He's just standing in the boat. He's just standing in there. All right, I need some sun. We got too many stars. I need some sun. Come on, sun. <laughs> uh, what is it, five? Ah, oh, come on, it can't. Can't sunrise faster? They couldn't have had a male version of the swimsuit, could they? What's so wrong with shorts? Just a pair of shorts. Is this really necessary? <laughs> it has pockets. Wait, no, it doesn't. Oh, that's like a belt. Man. My guy's got a, a badonk. Is that what it's called? A badonk? Man, he's got a badonk. I didn't even mean for that to happen. Shoot. And I made him. Gosh. All right, son, come on out. I'm gonna have my guy stand here in a canoe in the middle of Spruce Knob Lake. <laughs> Mr. Kim says, that's a woman's swimming suit, Ox. I know, there's a new male version. It's just called swimming suit. I wish there was a men's swimming suit, just some shorts, you know, a pair of trunks. But no, this is it, this is my option. It's the badonk suit. Deuteronomist says, I think the male swimsuit is a totally different outfit. Oh, is, do they have one? Well, what do they call it? <laughs> Darla says, you look like you're wrapped in bacon. <laughs> oh, man. All right, that sun is coming up. Come on, sun. It's almost 6 a.m. Uh oh, there's something in the water. Back on Red Rush. Just as long as that queen doesn't show up, I'll be okay. Yay! All right, it's morning. It's a little early for a for a skinny dip. But we can set up our shot here, huh? Let's turn off that horror depth of field. Now let's go to uh, pose. Man, I wish I had more poses. Ah, that's a good one. Oh, now he's bashful. Oh, he's just so bashful. <laughs> that's great. <scary. laughs> That. I'm sorry I'm having so much fun with it. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Gabe with the tip. Mythic says that swimsuit's definitely an interesting fashion choice. Oh, if only he was going like this. Concerned. I could do concerned. 
Thank you, Gabe. Very nice. Oh, man, he's happy. I don't know. Very generous, Gabe. It's like that simpering, oh, but he's sad. Whoa! Whoa, that is surprise! Oh, hello! <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing as much as I am. I really shouldn't. It's not that funny. I mean, it's funny, but it's not that funny. Oh. <laughs> uh, this is just bad. All right, I get, there's too many guys in the background there. <laughs> I feel like I'm doing... Uh, okay, the sun's coming from the wrong direction now. Inflated Dune says, I'm a huge fan of your channel, and it allowed me to share a bond with my significant other. Big love to you, Ox. Thank you, Inflated Dune. Oh, man, I wish the sun was coming from the other way. Why can't the sun rise in the west and set in the east? Man, there's just that doesn't look good. Look at that uh, shimmering around the character. Maybe I'll I'll wait for the sun to rise just a little bit more, and then we'll kill some demons. We'll go from this. <laughs> to killing demons. That seems like a good transition. Ash Malachi says, Ox, we are going blind. I know. And I'm sorry for this. I really am. William says, oh, damn, my bottle of Ob Oban, am I saying it right, Oban? It's very empty. 62 pounds in one night and that was just the whiskey. I'm so sorry my friend. I'm drinking a little bit of rum tonight. Okay, the sun is getting better. It just needs to shine from the other direction. Mac Knight says, what did I just join into? You're, you're, you're very lucky. You missed the worst bit. I mean, this bit's bad. Don't get me wrong, but you missed the worst bit. Not only that, we not, we not only have this, this scene, but we've got lurkers in the water. Deuteronomus is sneaking up on my character. <laughs> He's like a shark in the water. I'm gonna get you. Oh dear. Come on, son, please. Where'd he go? Oh, he's splashing. Ah! What are you looking at? Oh! I feel so exposed. This is... <laughs> what are you... I'm re I suddenly feel, like, legitimately embarrassed. <laughs> I'm doing this too publicly. Oh, look, they got this guy in the bed. Just waiting back there. All right, the sun is starting to cast <laughs> good highlights on the skin. There we go. Almost ready. And the sun is just boggling the mind. It's in the middle of day. Why is this so dark? Ah, 
All right, I don't think I can wait much longer. I'm gonna spend 10, 10 minutes waiting for the sun to rise in a video game so I can take a good shot. Maybe a filter will do it. Whoa, ouch. <clears throat> the bashful pose would be great for the straight jacket. Also, how did Scotch and Smoke Rings become a 76 stream? Says Dalton. I don't know. I was, I was trying something different. All right, I won't do that. Do this again. All right. I think we got it. It's just a cool morning. Let's put our clothes back on. Actually. <laughs> Dude in Mask says, I took pictures of your shame. Now it's even on my computer. Oh, dear. All right, well, thanks everybody for coming by for the photo shoot. That was a blast. Let's transition to Doom. The audience approves. Mark of fire. There we go. Let's kill some demons. Whoa. Now, where was I? Was I near? I was about to kill a boss, wasn't I? I think I was getting ready to kill a boss. Dude in Mask says, you made my day. Me being there ma uh, made you better. I think so too. Thank you for all the help, Dude in Mask. Reclaim the crucible. Oh, what? What is this? Oh. We got the bones of a big demon here. Oh, googly eyed. Bello Lestrange says, that was an awesome thing to open the stream to. Glad to see you having fun. Hoping everyone's got a great holiday. And I'll see you next time. Thanks, Bello. Good to have had you here. Oh, look at that. Yuck. I think I need some ammunition. Am I going into this guy's mouth? I am, aren't I? William says, Oban, Uban. Uban. Come on, man. The Scots are listening. You want 12 year or more single malt for the obvious win. Uban. Okay. Thank you. The age of his reckoning was uncounted. The scribes carved his name deep in the tablets of hell across eons, and each battle etched terror in the hearts of the demons. They knew he would come, as he always had, as he always will, to feast on the blood of the wicked, for he alone could draw strength from his fallen foes, and ever his power Swift and unrelenting. 
killer. Whoa! Uh oh. Oh, hey! alive. Guess we gotta go up the steps. Cow, I'm just going through my ammo, aren't I? They're just sending big guys at me. The entire point is just consume as much as they can. Thank you for the tip, Murky XB. Try this again. I think I need to be a little bit more prepared. Let's get some water. Okay. Hydration is important. Then some rum. Mm. And cigar for good measure.
scared. I'm scared. Oh dear. What's this? Oh, it's a heart! Hello! How do I get back there? Got a hell hole. Stretched on a wall? Oh. Oh, and we got bones. Minute. Is this a dead end? Music is really loud. Oh my gosh, it's loud. Loud, loud, loud. Okay, facing that way. That's a dead end. How do I get down there? And how do I get in there? Okay, what am I doing wrong?
try punching the heart, maybe? Okay. It's worth a shot. Shoot the explosive yellow urn. Okay. Punch the heart. No. Explosive yellow urn. Binary Ghost says, uh, as someone said, you should look at your map, maybe. I, I mean, I did just a moment ago. So here I am. I mean, I don't know what the map is supposed to tell me. It's It says I need to go this way, which is the room I was just in, right? Because it goes down into that other room. <laughs> However, uh, those doors are closed, right? Ooh, looks like I missed a secret down here. Hey. Oh. I had to loot the green thing. Weird. All right, all right, all right. Um, all right. I'll be back to that in a minute. There was a secret back here that I missed. That's a secret door. There's a switch under the bridge. Oh. Thank you.
<laughs> I shoved it in its mouth. <laughs> Yuck. Try again. Oh, right. Come on! I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> what is he? How did I even survive? I don't know. Oh, it's too late at night for this. I'm tired. I don't know if I can do this anymore. Okay. We're okay. It's okay. Everything's fine. Oh, I've got ammunition. I used my chainsaw. Oh my god. Okay, what new hell is this? What's that? Let's do it. Just take it off. What do I even do with those?
Is that it? How did I get him? I have no idea how I got him. Is that Argent ammo? What is that ammo? Okay, switch. I'll find a switch. Ooh, it's a blood channel. Found a secret. Do I have to get that armor in order for everything to spawn? Yep. <laughs> Straight up Indiana Jones right there. Okay, uh...
health, health, sweet health. Armor. Pinky. Pinkies will charge once their prey is detected. Using a cortical bone plate that covers their face as a battering ram. They accelerate quickly but have limited control when charging. Their inability to stop quickly or turn makes them vulnerable to charging over ledges or into hard surfaces, stunning them. <clears throat> At close range, the pinky has a significant bite which it will use to fend off attackers. They have limited visual perception and rely primarily on pheromone detection to locate enemies. <clears throat> the thinner skin on their flanks does not offer as much protection and should be considered a point of weakness. Nod carcasses of pinkies have been extracted from portals, suggesting they are considered a delicacy in hell. Oh, nice. I've just been lucky that I've missed that. I've just been bloody lucky. <laughs> oh, and this was right here the whole time. I could have used my dog on.
I always get caught up in these stupid doggone levels. All right, I need to go that way. Pinkies are vulnerable to the chainsaw after charging into a wall, says Iron Otter. Thank you, Iron Otter. Bad's gonna happen. They're giving me everything. Something bad's gonna happen. <laughs> yes, Satan. Ah, the blue door over there.
I didn't have to use the BFG. I didn't have to use the BFG. <laughs> I almost did. <laughs> I'm hurting. I'm hurting. Well, let's go find that blue door. Spot. Give me that map. None could stand before the horde but the Doom Slayer. Despair. Sorry, I didn't mean to walk away while you were talking, demon voice. Yeah. <laughs> 
door. I found it. Probably okay if I jump in that, right? I mean, it's only a pentagram. Oh, we did it. I got the Argent cells. I killed all the enemies. I got three of six secrets. I didn't get the field drone. Ah! Oh. But I got both elite guards. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have had an absolute blast. I'm really tired. <laughs> I have got to get up in the morning to do another live stream. We'll be doing Rage 2 tomorrow. I should probably do this. We go. We'll be doing Rage 2 tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock uh, a.m. Pacific time. Really looking forward to it. I've been missing Rage 2. I did it all last week. Haven't played it at all this week. Uh, but still, I was really glad I was able to do Doom with you today. And I'm looking forward to the next Doom. They're releasing another Doom game this year. So we're getting back-to-back -back Doom this year. We got Rage and Outer Worlds. And man, everything is happening this year. So it's an exciting year for games, everybody. And we're going to cover it all on my channel. Next... Uh, for the rest of this week, I've got a Fallout 76 video for you Saturday. It's going to be on the Rusty Pick. Maybe a Fallout 2 video for you Sunday, depending on how much of it I get done. But either way, we're going to be starting Broken Steel next week. Working on the theme song right now. It should be done in time. I've already got most of the footage shot, so stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a, a wonderful week of content coming. Thanks for joining me for Scotch and Smoke Rings episode 512. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Be sure you're absolutely kind to everyone. No, what, what do I usually say? Be sure you're kind to absolutely everyone. Get some sleep, and I'll see you tomorrow morning bright and early with a brand new live stream. Have a good one.